Drew here with X Aircraft America. We're going to talk a little bit today about some of the products we offer and what's possible with multi rotors right now with the technology. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the FPV system. So, FPV stands for, per for first person view. And you can see here that I can see on my monitor exactly what my GoPro down here is seeing. This is a pretty cool system because this screen gives you all kinds of great information. Uh, up on top of the quad here we have a GPS unit so we can see that our coordinates right here are 79.78 and uh, also gives some other great information. It will give me the voltage of both my camera and of my power. It's giving me my speed, my height, also my heading. I'm inside right now so the GPS lock isn't great but when you first cut this on it'll actually show you the direction that you're going and how far away your home is from you. Uh, aside from that, the kind of nice thing is that we have this awesome receiver here, or sorry, this transmitter here from Fataba. It's the uh, T8FG and one of the really nice things about this transmitter is just the programmability of it. So you can see here on the back there's these sliders I've actually programmed these so they control our camera. So when I slide this back and forth, it actually moves our camera. And you can see on screen here that it allows us to change the direction we want to have our camera going. Uh, the you can also see that I have my uh, head tracker and FPV goggles attached to this camera here. I don't know if you can see inside there, but it does have the same image you're seeing on the screen. And they're actually running off of the same uh, deal. But the really cool thing is these actually have what's called a head tracker built into them. So if I flip the switch on my transmitter here, now my camera responds to my head tracker. So if I push down, it goes down. If I push up, it goes up. That's all built-in functionality, and it's something that we have available here in the store. So really quickly here, we'll go through all of the elements that go into this FPV system. It's actually pretty simple. What we have is a video transmitter, which you can see right here mounted on the back. Now if we open up the hood here, you'll also see kind of the guts of the interior. That's the GPS unit, so we'll take that off and take our hood off. Now if you look in here, this is our OSD. Uh, this item right here basically pulls in our uh, camera feed from our camera, so this black wire goes down to our GoPro which I have wired up and it plugs in right there and then the video transmitter comes into this and then comes out right here and goes to our transmitter which is then picked up by our receiver. Uh, one thing to note is that when you're running an OSD on a camera on a uh, quadcopter like this you've got to have a UBEC installed and all this UBEC does is it regulates the voltage and amperage within your system so it lets you pr apply peripherals. So for example, now that I have this UBEC installed, it lets me power both my GoPro as well as this gimbal here. And you can see this is uh, our MC6500 Pro V5 uh, gimbal I have installed and I've really been impressed with it. Um, if you notice, the kind of the cool thing about this gimbal is it's self-leveling. So no matter how I tilt my quad, the gimbal always stays level. And it can actually take some pretty fast movement before it gets out of whack. As I showed you before, in addition to that, we can also control how our gimbal goes with our transmitter here. So if I move it down, it goes down. If I move it up, it goes up, which is really nice for flight. So we'll talk real quickly about this monitor. So this is a great monitor. It's seven inches wide. You can see from my hand here, it's fairly good sized. Uh, we actually include these two things here. This right here is a cloverleaf antenna, and this right here is called a patch antenna. And this patch antenna is directional, but it puts out 11 decibels, which is really great, so it allows you to really pick up the, the uh, signal from the quad as it's flying around. And the great thing with this is it's called a diversity receiver. So what this does, you see right here, it has RX1 and RX2. And this actually allows you to put two different antennas on top of the monitor, but then if the first antenna were to go out, the second antenna will pick up the slack. And this gives you a little better range and helps you out a whole lot when you're flying around in places that are a little bit further away. And this monitor is actually powered by a 2200 milliamp battery. Uh, the kit we sell includes this right here. Basically it's just a power plug soldered onto a XT60 
power plug here and it just makes it really easy to take it anywhere you know you can take this monitor around and you can see even if I, as I walk around here it still gives perfect video